Guys, check out my new favorite channel. It is so good. Oh my god. Look at it. And we're back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Thanks, Pewds, for the plug. Oh, the powers of video editing. All right, so today we're going to take a look at the new pack that's in the store. And we're also going to a review of Ahsoka Tano. That was the number one requested on my last character review on which one you guys wanted me to review. And I have her. But before we do that, I want to go and do the guild raid. We're doing a raid six kind of like free for all right now. Which is kind of cool. I don't know why we're not doing 7, but we probably do 7 on the next one. But we decided to take a break from the 7 and do a 6. Kind of regroup, trying to build up our roster and our guild. And this gives me an opportunity to try out some of my heroes. I just upgraded Tebow, Qui-Gon Jinn, Geonosian, Soldier, Akbar, and Royal Guard. Actually, I think I upgraded all five of those heroes in the last week or so. Pretty drastically on all of them. So I'm hoping that this Gamorian, Captain, Brute, and Guard will be an easier battle now. Now, I'm not going to go crazy and back out a million times like I normally would do just for the sake of the video. But normally I would go in and out of this battle a bunch until I hit like a perfect combo. And we're just going to see how this goes. No stun. Oh, I was hoping to get a stun there. Ouch. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get a stun here with this guy. Oh, cool. All right, everybody's going to get buffed and offense up. And I think I want to attack him. Let's see if I can knock his turn meter down. Sick! Oh, man. That's cool. Um, let's just do a regular attack. We want to take him out as quickly as possible. Oh, okay. Now I've got Qui-Gon Jinn with good timing. I can debuff him. That's helpful. And I think I want to continue to stun this guy right here. Double attack is always good. Uh-oh, death mark is already up. Uh, let's see if we can get the turn meter reduction on this. Boy, that doesn't help much. Yeah, let's just finish. Boy, I don't know what to do. Let's uh, go like this here. Oh, that didn't trigger. All right, let's get rid of the death mark. We do not want that. Double attack. Well, well see, I don't even need to do double attack. I can just do a normal attack on him. Let's do it that way. All right. Ouch. Uh, let's see if we can get a stun to go off. Thank you. And, boy, uh, what do I want to do here? I think I want to do his ability so that everybody can get faster. Oh, don't hit me. Ouch. Definitely want to focus on the captain at this point. Uh, let's wipe him out with double attack. All right, let's see if we can get this combo going now. Oh, I need a turn meter. Come on, one of them hit. No turn meter reduction yet. All right, let's see if we can get slow down. No. Well, at least I'm doing okay, I think, so far. All right, come on. Yeah, look at that. Turn meter went down to zero. Oh, I got speed reduction, so this is going to get a lot easier now. Uh, I think I want to try to... Let's try to see if I can get it right here. Yeah, look, it goes back to zero. Back to zero. Boy, we're just cleaning up on this. All right, we want to go uh, back into stealth. And let's see what we get here. Oh, man. We're getting to go back to zero. This is going so well. Now, my Tebow is gear nine. And I am going to be ecstatic when I get him up to gear ten. Because I think this will work a lot better. Oh, I may have did that wrong. All right, please go to zero. Sick. 
Oh man, this is so much better than I thought it was gonna be. Z oh look at it go it's still at zero. Boy! This is working way better than I imagined. I'm sure at some point it won't go off and then I'll have a problem. Oh boy, this is always a tricky decision right here. Do I double attack and hope that Tebow comes in? One in four chance. Or do I just swipe with Qui-Gon Jinn? You know, and, and get a little bit like I did right there. Go to zero, go to zero. Oh man, this is working amazing, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is going way better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but I'm just... See, I don't know. This is really tricky because it, if I double attack, I do more damage. And then I have a 1 in 4 chance that Tebow will come in. I guess that's fine. Well, I'm glad he didn't uh, bring back the guards and the brute. Okay, let's see if we can get it to zero. Boy, that's triggering quite a bit, actually. Oh, back to zero. No, oh, back to zero again. Boy, he's not getting a turn. I know at some part this will fall apart. I don't know when that is, but right now it's going very well. I'm just going to do double attack. Oh, that worked out. Oh, man, he is just not getting to go. Wow, this is pretty good, actually. Boy, he's just like on a lockdown right now. He's not being able to move. I'm just uh, whittling away at him. All right, let's see if we get Tebow or Qui-Gon. All right, that didn't go. Death mark is up and immediately removed. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, boy. I don't think that'll be a problem, though. I can move that here. Here it goes. So now we're going to get rid of the death mark on the next turn. Now, let's do it like that. I am very happy with the way that this combo is working. Boy. Death Mark doesn't matter. Death Mark is taking care of by Akbar. Royal Guard gives him speed down. Tebow and Qui Gon Jin are there to remove his turn meter, which is triggering quite often, actually. Oh, look at that. It just keeps going back to zero. Oh, this is great. All right, I'm going to fast forward this a bit, and I'll be back towards the end when this starts to fall apart. Ouch! Well, my Tebow just died, so this is going to fall apart quickly. And I am going to just poke for a couple more rounds here, and then I'm going to start trying to retreat my heroes, especially if he summons the guards. I'm just going to try to pull them all out. But it is a good run. Uh, I'm happy with the results so far. I'm would love to take as many of these guys back out with me as possible. Oh yeah, I need to pull them out now. Probably should have pulled the Royal Guard out, but I'll do, you know, that's fine. 
Uh, let's do it that way. 50% chance. Fail. Oh, please, Qui-Gon Jinn. Thank you. And please, GS. Oh, man. Yeah, because now he's one-shotting people. Ouch. Death mark is up. Not much I can do about that. The guards are back. This is a death sentence for him. Oh, here he goes. Goodbye. Ouch. All right, let's see what the damage is. 600,000. All right, not so bad. All right, I'll take it. That's a pretty good right there. I know people can get higher. I've heard of higher numbers. Uh, I think when I get my Tebow maxed out to G10, that'll be a little bit better. Oh, it looks like someone else did about the same amount. Very nice. Very nice, bro. All right. Well, let's go and take a look at this pack. Now, this pack is in the store, and it's a Jedi Order bundle. It costs $59 US dollars, and you get two guaranteed characters, Anakin and Old Ben. And I got to say that Old Ben is amazing. He's probably one of the most used leadership in squad arena teams right now. Anakin has been reworked and they're giving out 30 shards for the daily login for the course of the month of July. And it'll be seen whether or not he is better or not. I know I made a review of Anakin a couple days ago. And then you're getting some shards there. Jedi Counselor, which is a bad version of Luminara, but still fairly good in Galactic War. The Jedi Counselor, which I don't think is that great. And then Qui-Gon Jinn, which is a must-have, probably one of the best Jedis, probably one of the best support and attacker heroes in the game. You can saw that I used him in the raid. He's useful in all parts of the game. I don't need this package. Most of those heroes are farmable. In fact, all of them are farmable. This might be a good package for you if you want to complete the Yoda event because Yoda is amazing. And I know some other people have bought it and they said they got the wrong shards that they did not want. I think the only person that should be buying this is if they want to finish the Yoda event right now. And I made tons of videos on getting Yoda. You can check those out. Now, let's take a look at Ahsoka. Uh, Ahsoka was one of the five seven stars that I took in with me to defeat Yoda. Qui-Gon Jinn is amazing, firstly. Luminara is also amazing. Those two heroes you'll never regret upgrading. They're useful almost in all parts of the game. Luminara is great in Galactic War. Now, Barris is a great leader for Galactic War, and I like her a lot. She has a good leadership ability, and she has the best healing in the game. She can get by the heal immunity. Problem with Barris is that she is slow, and she does like no damage whatsoever. At least I can't get her to do any damage. And then there's Jedi Counselor, which is, I don't know how to put this, just like a bad version of Luminara, but Luminara is really good, so he's kind of good also. And then there is Ahsoka, and Ahsoka was the last one I took. She surprises me all the time, especially in the raids. She does a lot more damage than you would think. She heals herself. I have not played her in Galactic Wars, and that's what I'm going to do in a little bit. I'm going to take her in with Galactic Wars because I think she is very good because she keeps healing herself. Her energetic slash deals physical damage to target enemy, and Ahsoka recovers health equal to 10% of her maximum health and increase to 15% on a critical hit. So she is very resilient. She's the type of hero that you could put into Galactic War on autoplay, and you're not going to have to worry about her dying. That is very cool. Now, this protective maneuver has two different forms. Basically, if the enemy has more than 50% health, then everybody else on the team heals, which is very cool. Or if they have less than 50% health, she does 50% more damage. So like on the raids, I'm finding that on the tier 7 raids, people die pretty quickly. And if the Rancor is below 50%, I like to do that extra damage. And she puts out a pretty good amount of damage. I've seen almost 10,000 damage out of her many a times. And that is very good. Her leadership ability is for Jedi and Knight Sisters have... 14% evasion and gain 15% turn meter whenever they evade. So that's kind of like a bad version of Old Ben's leadership ability. And we'll look at his in a moment, which his is, I think, almost exactly the same. 
but it applies to everybody, where on hers, it is only Jedi and Night Sister. Now, this ability to me, I just want to say, is kind of confusing. Soka has 45% health, 45 speed, and 10% critical chance. Whenever she suffers a critical hit, she loses one of these effects in reverse order. Whenever she scores a finishing blow, she regains all of them. Let's build a Jedi team. And we're just going to go in there. And we're going to use her as leadership because it's fun. We're going to go into the Galactic War. And we're just going to run through a couple of battles that are pretty easy. We're going to hit Select Battle. And the thing about Galactic War now is that you really have to focus on it. It is not easy like it was before where I could just put it on autoplay. So to, now it requires some thinking. All right, so we're going to put Ahsoka in leadership. And we're just going to do an all-Jedi team. And I'm just going to throw them in from top to bottom based on their power index. So the first one that comes up, I'll just throw in there. And then Luminara and Barris. Boy, all right. So we can go through this here, and we're going to see if this evasion triggers at all. I'm going to try to talk, uh, knock out Dorsidius first. So Yoda starts us off because he's really fast. Oh, well, Embarrass is healing everybody up. Boy, okay, so I'm going to use Yoda's ability right here. And this might be a combo, actually. And everybody's going to get Foresight. And let's see if this helps them out with their turn meter. Yeah, it looks like I might have to go back and look. But I think everybody's turn meter jumped up right there. Because everybody dodged that attack. And now everybody's going to get to go. So that worked well. That's like a little combo I hadn't thought of. Very cool. Alright. I think this battle is not going to be too hard. I think I want to take out Luminara secondly. She actually can shoot damage. Savage would also be a good one to take out next. Let's just do that to gain foresight for himself. Everybody's got tenacity right now, which is kind of nice. Yeah, let's, let's go this way. Don't need to heal. And he's got more than 50% health. If he had less than 50% health, then that would have been a finishing blow. And I guess that would be really good for her to get her all of her ability back. So she gets all of her abilities back when she does a finishing blow. And that special attack there does a ton of damage. So let's do that right here when it's her turn. We'll do the finishing blow on him. And I guess her abilities will come back. Let's see what how it goes. So because he has less than 50% health, it does more damage. Yeah, 8,900. Oh, and then it, you can see that the green lights went up there. So something came back. It's kind of unclear on what's going on with her. To me, anyways. I got to tell you, though, in the raids... She just does more damage than everybody else, and she stays alive the longest, and I like that. She's always surprised me. She was much better than I thought, and when I was comparing her to Jedi Knight Anakin, I found her better in many ways, and now that they've changed Anakin, maybe it's not the same. I don't know. I just wanted to say thank you for everybody that commented in the last video to ask me to make an Ahsoka video. I'm kind of keeping a tally of what the requests are. So if you want to put in the comment section below what you want me to make a character review for, I would much appreciate it. And right here in the middle of the screen, there is a link to a playlist that will show all of my Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes videos. And in there you can find um, probably about 25 or so character reviews. You know there's like 80 characters in the game. So I've got some work to do. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.